Six months ago, I deleted social media as a little social experiment for my YouTube channel and I didn't realise how much and how little it was actually going to impact my life. As someone who grew up online, it's been crazy learning how to get off of my phone and live more presently with my friends, family and even the city I live in. As YouTube has been following me throughout this whole process, I felt as though it was only fair to share my closing thoughts with you all. That's right, this is the last video where I'm going to talk about social media, I hope. But before we get started, I want to say a huge thank you to Shortform for sponsoring this video. To all my fellow book lovers out there, this is going to be a godsend for you. Shortform is a platform with insightful and detailed book summaries and articles. I tend to read books really quickly and as anyone would, I forget a lot of the information over time and so I've personally been using Shortform as a way to revisit old books, remind myself of the knowledge and even learn things that I missed when I first read the book. So if you're anything like me and you're a little bit lazy when it comes to book notes, short form has your back. I think you guys would really enjoy the topics education, self-improvement and philosophy, my personal favourite. Every week short form publishes new book guides and articles and subscribers actually have a say in what book they cover next which I think is incredible. So to all my fellow book lovers out there, go ahead and join short form through my special link to get a free five-day trial at shortform.com slash lucy. That's shortform.com slash lucy or you can just click the link in the description. So get learning everyone and thanks again Shortform for sponsoring this video. I feel like I want to start this video talking a little bit about my journey throughout the whole six months. I actually deleted social media for a few reasons. Firstly as a YouTube experiment because I was into self-help videos at that point and I thought it'd be something fun to try. Secondly because in general it was something I'd always wanted to try. As someone who grew up online my whole life I feel like I'd never really experienced a world without it or at least not one where my brain was old enough to remember it. Thirdly because with the continuous lockdowns and spending most of my days in a bedroom scrolling continuously and not getting up to much productive things. I felt as though I was really wasting my time and it was starting to get the better of me a little bit and I could definitely see my mental health going down a slippery slope. I have this one image um, when I think about why I wanted to delete social media in the first place and I was staying in Bordeaux with my boyfriend and I spent the full day in bed, didn't get out and I just watched TikTok videos, I think for around eight hours. And I thought to myself, this is not healthy. This is not an app that you are capable of using. And I'm not saying that no one in the world should use TikTok, but it was definitely not an app that benefited me in any way. In fact, it was deteriorating my health to such a scale that when I stopped and realized what I was doing, I thought, okay, this needs to change immediately. When I finally deleted social media, I remember feeling really great and overly productive for the first couple weeks to month. I was going on daily walks, which I still do. I was reading a book a week. I was getting all my emails done. I performed really well in university for that semester. And I just felt really good about the change. But it didn't stay like this the whole time. It wasn't always an easy and happy experience. I remember maybe around the three month mark, I said to myself, okay, three months, I think this is enough and I think I'm ready to go back now and go on Instagram. And I was fully committed to going back. I was actually thinking about making a video because I felt as though I had to explain myself to the internet on why I decided I want to come back. And when I was in the process of writing the video, I said to myself, I can't even justify why I want to come back to Instagram. I think it was just to be nosy towards celebrities and because since deleting it, I wasn't taking any photos and I was losing out on some picture memories. And so when I realized that was the only two reasons, I said, okay, no, you can fully live with our Instagram. You don't need it. And so I really wanted to make sure everyone realized that when you delete it, it isn't this upward scale of life is amazing and I'm so productive and I'm so much happier. Sometimes you feel the addiction kind of come back and sometimes you question whether you should delete it or not. One thing that I thought I was going to miss with social media, which I did not at all, 
was being in and out of all the fashion trends and TikTok trends and the news. Turns out I actually feel a lot better without being involved in them. <laughs> Yeah, okay, sure, I'm maybe not as cool because I don't know half of what's going on with TikTok right now and why a chair means a laughing face. But that's actually fine with me. I would rather be more aware with what's going on in the real world. <laughs> so in deleting social media, I realized there was a lot of things that I thought I cared a lot about and it turns out I really didn't. Another big change that I noticed was I suddenly had a lot more time in the day and a lot more time to fill up with things in the day. All of these hours I was originally spending on TikTok or Instagram scrolling was now empty time and at first I almost saw it as a negative because I thought okay I'm still in a lockdown, I still have nothing to do and then I realized there's about a billion things you can do even from the comfort of your own bedroom. One huge thing I got into at the start as I mentioned before was reading and I think this is actually one of my most productive habits that has come out of deleting social media. I don't know, I find it crazy that our generation has subconsciously been taught that when we have a two to 10 minute break, the only thing we can do is go on our phone. It's something I really admire about older generations that when you see an old lady waiting on a bus, she waits patiently or maybe takes out a newspaper, never with a phone. It's definitely a habit I'm trying to create myself. One thing in my first deleting social media video that I saw all throughout the comments was the topic of friendship and whether you would lose friends by deleting social media. I had an opinion back then and I still have the opinion today that if deleting a little app makes you lose friends, they clearly were not real friends in the first place. And from my own personal experience, I've noticed that I did not lose a single friend that I thought I was going to lose from social media. Yeah, of course there were the people that would maybe comment on my posts or DM me from time to time that I completely lost contact with but my real friends stayed and I feel like almost a bit happier that when I think of my friend group now I think of the people I see physically or talk to almost every day rather than all of the people that would like and comment under my photos. As I mentioned earlier, one of the main reasons I deleted social media was to improve my mental health and I can absolutely say with certainty that I succeeded with that. <laughs> I felt as though with a mixture of the lockdowns and my excessive use of social media, I was really starting to develop a social anxiety or even going to a coffee shop made my hands sweat and made me stumble over my words and act stupid and it was getting really bad and so I'm really happy to say that after six months where now really my main interactions are with people in person, the social anxiety has finally disappeared. I feel like I've gained so much confidence now, I'm not so worried about what other people think and since most of my real life now is in person rather than online, I feel better as a physical person rather than an online person and I know this sounds pretty sad but I think before I gave more value to my Instagram self than my real self, so I'm really happy to see this change. In my last video on this topic, named why you should take a social detox, I mentioned, and I really tried to stress it, if there's a social media platform that you benefit from or you feel great using and you don't have any negativity towards, don't delete it then. I feel like when people talk about deleting social media, it really needs to be a, uh, I'm gonna delete every single one of them, I'm gonna go completely off the internet, I'm gonna get rid of my phone and laptop and it's just not the case and I also don't think it's sustainable. For example, I love YouTube, I love creating videos, I love watching videos with my favourite creators. I don't want to give it up. I don't overuse it, I don't find any toxicity towards it and so I'm going to keep it. Even after six months where I've got rid of everything else, YouTube isn't something I'm prepared to give up and that's totally fine. As long as it isn't causing me negativity, I'm cool with that. If you love Instagram and you love catching up with celebrities on it or you love seeing what your friends are up to, don't delete Instagram. Same with Facebook, it's completely up to you and you don't have to go 100% to still see a change. So as promised in the intro, my final thoughts on this social experiment. First of all, I don't think of it anymore as a social experiment, I think of it as my life because it's been half a year and I'm pretty used to the fact that I don't have an Instagram app to scroll on anymore. Secondly, it's really not as dramatic as people make it out to be, myself included. I know I love a dramatic intro, but at the end of the day, all you're doing is deleting a couple of apps. It changes your life in some ways, but at the end of the day, it doesn't change much. You're still really the same person before and after, you just maybe have a couple better habits. 
And like I said before, I still have YouTube and I still have a phone and laptop. I maybe have a screen time of one to two hours now, which again is better than nine hours, but I still have it. And so I would almost rather use the term digital minimalism, like the Carl Newport book, because it's not necessarily about getting rid of 100%, it's about minimalizing and using media to your advantage. We've all seen that documentary on Netflix where it makes you feel like the algorithms are controlling you and you're gonna end because of these robots. But really, you can also use them too, whether it's to make a job as a creator, have limits on your screen time, or just not even use them at all. At the end of the day, the choice is up to you. And I hope if you were thinking about deleting social media, I've encouraged you to. And if you didn't want to delete social media before, Good for you, I hope you don't delete it, I hope you're happy on it. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, here are two videos I think you would watch on the social media series, and if not, that's okay. I hope you have a lovely day and bye bye